Hi Reception, it's Kelly from Broadstone. Hope you're well and staying active at home. Before we start on this week's PE challenges, I would just like to say that I miss seeing everyone's smiley little faces at school and I'm really looking forward to the day that you all come back. I miss teaching PE to every one of you and I hope you're all staying safe and well at home. I know it's hard, but we've all just got to get through this together. Okay, this week's PE challenge, week four. This week, we are going to be working on our target throwing. Now, as you can see, I have a target basket, so I'm going to be using a washing up basket. Um, and in my basket, I have got balls, uh, I've got cuddly toys, um, and I have loads of pairs of socks. So if you don't have any uh, softballs that you can throw, then socks and teddy bears are just absolutely fine. Now we are going to break it down into three levels for you. So we're going to have an easy level, a medium level and a hard level. Level one, the easy level. Now, I'm just going to teach you how to throw the ball under arm. So you're going to pick your object up in your hand and you are going to put your opposite leg foot in front to the ball that you have in your hand. So if my ball is in my right hand, I'm going to put my left leg forwards. I'm going to hold the ball nice and tight in my hand and I'm going to start at my pocket. Now my ball needs to be facing my target when I throw it. So I'm going to do a low to high action. This arm that doesn't have the ball in the hand, you can use it as a target guide. So I can point my arm out to where my target is to help me with my accuracy. Now, all we're going to do on level one, I have a big pile of uh, toys, balls and socks. I have one minute to try and throw as many items into the basket as I can. Every time an item goes in the basket, I get one point. Now, I've started with the basket quite close to start with to make it easy for myself. So all I'm going to do is bring the ball to my pocket and I'm going to go from low to high action, swinging forwards and landing my ball in the bucket. Now, I've got one minute to see how many items I can land in the bucket. Now, if I miss the bucket, like that, that's okay, because once I finish throwing all my items, I can run, get the items that are on the floor, if I have time left, to come back to throw into the bucket. Level two, the medium level. We are going to do the exact same thing again, but this time we are going to use our weaker hand. So I'm right-handed, so this time I'm going to use my left hand. So, because I'm using my left hand, I have to put my opposite foot forwards, which is my right foot. Ball starting at my pocket, swinging from low to high again. Okay, so the same thing. How many items can you throw in the basket with your weaker hand in one minute? Every time one of the items goes into the basket, you get one point. See how many points you can get in one minute. Level three, the hardest level, we are going to turn it into a competition. So you need to play against somebody in your house. So you can play against your brother or sister, you can play against your parents or carers. Now, your target is going to be in the middle and you need to be the same equal distance on both sides. So if I'm here on this side, my partner needs to be on the opposite side, the same distance away. We're both going to have the same amount of items, so maybe five items or ten items, whatever you prefer. And it's the first person to get all, all their items into the basket. Now, if I'm throwing an item and it lands in, I can pick up my next item. Now, if I throw it now and it misses, I've got to go and get that item, come back before I can pick up another item this item has to land in the bucket first. Now, if you're playing against your brother and sister, 
you can both use your strong dominant hands. If you are playing against your parents or carers, they must use their weaker hand to make it fair for everybody. Once you've had a go and you find out who the winner is, can you make it harder or easier for, you, for yourself? So to make it easier, we move closer to the basket. To make it harder, we can move further away from the basket. Have fun. See if you can beat your parents or carers. See if you can get any bragging rights in your house. And I would look forward to hearing if you manage to beat your parents or carers. Good luck. Have fun. Bye everyone and I will see you next week.